Hey masters, update of transform effector is finally here and now I will go through all the new functions and settings in the version 2. So here in the main map called the transform effector showcase you can find the links to YouTube tutorials of transform effector and also for some Unreal Engine quick tips. Uh, let's dive in. So first I just gonna click on simulate to see the result of effector and here is a cube you can Click here to turn on the sinus animation and now we see all the effects. These effects are the same as before but we have the very new blueprint structure so we can use the multiple effector at one time. We have some the custom easing curves, new random functions, the sinus functions and also the just once function. What we can see when I turn it on and I go with my effector, it's built once and then it's not going back to default position. Okay, so uh, let's dive in through another maps. There is a tutorial map when you can try for your first time to create an effect. So let's do it. So I got this transform effector with the tag build. So in a main, I have a build. So let's, let's check, uh, let's select the cubes search tab type tech and here find build type build okay simulate and now you see it's working okay so that's so easy you can make your effects in really few steps then we get the distance field explanation uh, there is a change the the values are now reverse so when it's false you get the all transformation inside of the sphere when it's true you get the old transformation outside of the sphere. Then we get the traditional third person controller. There is nothing new here. So we can try how it works when you attach the transform effector under the player. Uh, I get the new blueprint, which is a bonus blueprint for you, and it's the construction. When you get the blueprint class, so it's uh, one. It's a group of objects convert to blueprint class. You can use this deconstruct blueprint for deconstructing the blueprint class. So let's just click on my deconstruct blueprint, use this picker, select your blueprint you want to deconstruct and click on deconstruct. And now you see we get the original blueprint and also the individual meshes in their position so you can create your uh, custom effect with the new individual meshes and we get also the new easing curve which is pretty awesome uh, let's load the texture so here i got my transform effector and as you can see here under the location rotation and scale we get the easing curve and now you see how it looks like. So the effect is much more cool when you use curves. You can check how many curves we have here and you can try how these effects looks like when we just change the easing curve. There are some noise and jumpy and wave effects but there are also the easy in and out just to create the effect more smooth or you can just switch it to linear. That's basically how it looked like in the first version but I love the easing curves it's uh, create the effects so cool yeah so that's one of the main feature of the update let's move on let's move on um, I prepared for you few external blueprints so now you can use the blueprint this button for controlling the values in our transform effector so in this case I'm turning on and off and you can also control the external value of our solver which is, uh, is now the logic of the blueprints we get the transform effector and we get the solver here which is automatically spawned into the scene I will show you here so when we go to the blueprints here we have all the presets feel free to copy and create your custom presets and here under the support uh, we have the solvers 
and all the mathematics and computing is based here in the transform effector solver. So all the blueprints, all the all the logic here is is just computing in the solver. And the transform effector is the really easy blueprint which is holding all the values and controlling um, elements. Okay, let's move on. Um, then I prepared for you how does it look like when you attach the transform effector into rigid body objects. So you can just hit play and see the result of the animation. You can see that we apply here also the new function just once. Okay, so let's go to the map to just once. And that's a new feature. We have two modes of just once. One is um, it make the effect just once only when it reach 100% of the transform. The other, the other objects goes back. So that's the just one, 100%. You can find it here in the main experimental and just once. And the second one is just once progress. So it keeps all the, all the progress not only the 100% done transformation. And then the main feature is that we can use multiple effector at once. You can see here, these objects has one tag, the tag one. These objects has two tags, one and two, and these has also one tag. And now when I hit simulation, I have the new priority system, so this is bigger priority, so it's overriding the transform effector, this one, this one effector, and it has to take one, as you can see here, so it works on these cubes and also these cubes. And this one has works also here and has bigger priority, so it works well, and this one has only tech 2, so it works here and here, but not here. You, know, you see the difference? So it's um, controlling only the objects with the, with the tech, and we can use as many effectors as we want, thanks to the new priority system. So when you click on your effector in the main, under the main, there is a priority. When uh, you have to be sure you use all the time different priority for each effectors. So when I change it to three and I got three also here and I hit simulation, the error is here. So I have to make the unique priority. So when I change it back to four and it's simulation, it's working pretty well. Okay, I prepared for you also the new sequencer example. Um, when you hit play, you just see um, short animation and uh, it's showing you how you can animate the values and presets in Sequencer. If you want to dive in more, you can just uh, find the Sequencer here. It's just here, open level Sequencer, and here you can see how I animated all the values. Okay, let's move on. And we get the also new super cool feature and it's sinus and random multipliers. You can find it also here when you click on effector under the experimental, random and sign. So these effectors are playing around these values. So let's see what it does. As you can see, this effector is not moving, but uh, it has applied uh, the turn on the sign function and it's automatically multiplying all the effects by sinus so it's making this wave effect when you can when you move with it you see the center of the sign is at your transform effector location cool then we get the it's the sinus wave then we get the sinus random so it's randomly multiplying all the all the objects then we get the random animated is it's here so it's 
randomly animating all the objects outside. You can change the speed of the animation and uh, you can control the intensity of the randomness. Cool. And then we have a random static. Yeah, that's basically the same as the first one, but it's not animated. And you can control the intensity of the random and the face. So if you want to animate this one and you want to have some control over it, you can just animate this random face number. And the uh, last one is just this uh, short map, short animation when I'm showing you how you can build your scene, then turn off the effector and apply physics. So it's now easy to do this kind of effects when you just use the effector to build your scene, then turn it off, apply physics and it works fine. Yeah, so that was the short introduction and I will dive in more into the deep of the transform effector functions in next tutorials.